year around Halloween, the same thing happens. You get a whole bunch of leftover candy. So what to do with it? Well, today we are here with Jeffrey Vinicor from UCLA, and we're going to turn that candy into rocket fuel. Right? That's right, Zaya. <laughs> I'm so excited to do this. Okay, so first of all, tell us what you've got here. We got sugar here. Uh, do you still go trick-or-treating, by the way? I, I try to when try I can to. get away with I, it. I still do because I like to collect a lot of candy. Here we have uh, some sweet tarts and nerds. Okay. And, I, and I ground them up into a powder and I put them right here because I collect a lot of candy, not to eat it, but to make rocket fuel. Because candy has sugar and yes. it can burn. Let me demonstrate. So I'm going to take just basically a teaspoon of this candy, put it onto this plate here, add the safety goggles, okay, I'm fire, and then we'll see if it burns. Uh, not much. I mean, it's kind of like caramelizing like, yeah, or something, right? Kind of like cooking. That's not exactly uh, that exciting. But we are missing one thing. Well, not missing something. We need more of something. Do you know what that thing is? You can tell me what that thing is. It's oxygen. Oxygen is in the air. We're breathing it in to burn uh, food that we eat. But we need more oxygen to make this like rocket fuel. And so I actually brought some with me here. This is a chemical scientists call an oxidizer. And what it does is it provides more oxygen in a more accessible form. So now. We're going to do that again, but this time I'm going to take one scoop of this candy and I'm going to add it to the oxidizer, which provides us a lot of oxygen. Now, when we mix this up, just like this, we now have created rocket fuel. Because just we have, like that. We have the stuff that gives the oxygen and we have okay. the fuel and it could probably burn a lot faster. Okay, so what about sugar-free stuff? I noticed that you have some artificial sweetener here. What's going to happen if we use artificial sweetener? Good question. So these packets of artificial sweetener, they say zero calories, but that's not totally accurate. Um, a lot of these sweeteners have filler in it. The filler is made out of dextrose. That's code name for sugar. So this does have three calories, but there's this funny rule where if an, uh, one of these packets has less than five calories, they just round to zero. It's, and it's they call really, it sugar-free. So we're yeah. going to put some of that in here, right? You got it. So take one scoop, about the same amount that I did, and scoop does into that there. Sound, does that look good? That's great. Can you okay. mix it up for me real quick? Indeed I can. Indeed I can. You are now, making rocket fuel. Now, as we are fuel. doing this, now you are also called the dancing scientist. And from what I understand, you've had over <laughs> 17 million views. So why are you called the dancing scientist? Dancing is one of my hobbies. Um, I do research at UCLA, but I also like to dance. I do like these dance moves like this. Oh, you're doing I'm the popping and everything. Look at that. that. Okay. Today, we're making rocket fuel. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to this then. So what do we do okay, now? So I've mixed mine It's up. all set. You have artificial sweetener in yours, which has filler, dextrose, and I have sweet tart powder in mine. Now it's time to light it on fire. Okay, I'm ready. All right, so grab the torch there. And just, what do you want me to do? You go first. Yeah, well, we have to do it at the same time because we got to compare them. Just it's put, a, dunk a it right experiment. in the beaker? Dunk it, but not all the way. Okay. On three. You got to do a well, countdown, right? It's rocket fuel. Three, two. Should I blast mine up a little more? Sure, go for Hold it. On a second. Wrong way. Three, wow, okay. Two, one. Blast off. Oh my goodness. Why is it not? Oh. Hold on, what's happening? Well, at least one's yours, blasting off. <laughs> yours is blasting off. What's up with my Take one step back. Linda. <laughs> wow, look at that rocket fuel. <laughs> Holy. That is burning really hot. Cow. Ooh. Now, is that as powerful as kerosene? It's actually burning almost hotter. That purple flame you see is actually from potassium. It's a metal that gives it that color, kind of like fireworks. Can I try you it? Do Can it. I try it? Okay. We got to compare so it. Let's see so what remember happens what you just saw. Oh, look at that. Look at Whoa. that. Whoa. Oh, geez. Okay, so that that's is burning super hot. Super powerful. So the artificial, artificial sweetener artificial has sweetener. just as much sugar then. It has almost just as much sugar by weight, but in reality, you use a little bit less of it because it's much sweeter. So it is, it is better, but still, those aren't the really, either of them aren't the greatest alternatives. That is so dramatic. Okay, so my question, it smells really nice in here though. Um, so my question is, okay, what does this mean in terms of sugar in our bodies when you see the sweetener and you see the actual just plain sugar in the yeah, candy? Yeah, so when we eat sugar or candy or anything that can burn, we burn it as well. We breathe in oxygen and our body burns it. But if you eat too much candy on Halloween, then the extra gets stored as fat and it's bad for your teeth. So instead, you actually want to make rocket fuel with your candy. You want to make rocket fuel. It. That's exactly what I thought. Perfect logic. Thank you so very Great much. Great job. We pulled it Always off. remember, stay safe. Don't play with this stuff and wear, wear, wear goggles.